Hi, this is Abby, and welcome to another edition of In the Therapist Chair. I've had so many interesting client sessions in the past few weeks. I'm trying to think of what's the most useful thing that I can talk about today. And something that's come up quite a few times for me lately has been acting out of our child parts. So what I mean by that is that we have many aspects of ourselves. So if you can imagine you right now in this moment and then going back in time five years ago, 10 years ago, all the way back to when you were a child, that each part of you is an aspect of you. And some of those parts of you did not get the love that it expected to get. Some of those parts of you feel like you're you know, being abandoned. Some of those parts of you are very angry about stuff that happened that you can't control anymore. And what I find is really interesting is that those parts of us, those child parts, can find themselves in the present moment in part of our personalities. I was actually in London one time walking over the bridge and I was very mellow, I was very chilled out, I'd just been to the museum and there was a grown woman having a temper tantrum. Now I had really pieced together this idea of our child parts and acting out of our child parts and there right in front of me I saw somebody, a fully grown woman, having a temper tantrum because she wasn't getting her own way. Now the key to work with this is to have an awareness of this. And so when I'm say with a client, I say, okay, the adult that made the booking with me, the person who wants to heal this, the grown up part of you, I wanna to talk to her now. And suddenly they snap out of the, oh, poor me and I'm the victim and all of this stuff that didn't happen. So I'd like to leave you with an idea of something that you can do for you. So we'll take one example of this, the abandoned child. Okay, some of us have, we all have wounded child parts. And one of those types of wounds is the abandoned child. Now, how do you act out of your abandoned child when you're an adult? Well, you could be in a relationship and you could feel that your partner, your lover, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, they're gonna abandon you. And it's possible that you've experienced abandonment in the past. And it's possible that everybody's gonna abandon you in your own mind, it's a limiting belief because this has been your pattern. So go back to the very first time you felt abandoned and realize how young you were at that time. And then bring yourself back into this moment as the adult and see that part of you, the child part here with you in the room. So maybe he or she is three or four, maybe five or maybe even 18, it doesn't matter. And just say to them, I am here, I am here, I will never abandon you. And realize what you're saying, I will never abandon myself. How does that feel? Can you say that with me? I will never abandon myself. Because suddenly you realize that you will never, ever again, ever be abandoned. The key to really getting this healed for you is to realize that you have been abandoning yourself. You have been abandoning parts of yourself and expecting somebody else to come back and give you the love, give you the nourishment, give you the encouragement you've been looking for. So you need to now learn how am I abandoning myself now and how can I stop doing that? And with the child part here, the one that you called forth earlier, to just feel compassion, to feel a sense of understanding, to open your heart to you when you were younger. You didn't know any better. And now you're gonna learn, how do I abandon myself? And how do I stop doing that? This is work, okay? It's not easy work, but it's very important work. And this is just one example of how you can transform an abandoned, wounded child part into a resilient and strong and confident adult. So I hope you found this interesting. And if you'd like to know more, there's lots more videos on my YouTube channel, Therapist Chair and all kinds of other interviews and things. And you can find me on www 
abby, A-B-B-Y hyphen, W-Y-N-N-E dot com. Okay, I look forward to reading your comments and I look forward to seeing you even on my Facebook page, Avi's Energy Healing page. Okay, bye-bye.